2022 was a big year here on the Lifting and Rigging channel. What did you miss? Let's take a look back at some of this year's best lifting and rigging videos and see what 2023 has in store. My name is Ben and this is the Lifting and Rigging channel. In 2022, we hit nearly 9,000 subscribers. So thanks for watching and subscribing. And I truly, honestly mean that. Without you, we would have never seen the growth we saw this year, and we would not be able to create the videos we create. So truly, thanks for watching. We've got a lot more great videos coming to you in 2023. The channel has had some big changes this year. We started a podcast, we've embraced shorts, and me. I jumped into this role hosting the channel in 2022. So thank you for a really wonderful year. It's been really fun. And thanks for hitting the like button on this video as well. It really, really helps us get all this information out to others who may be looking for some answers. If you are new to the channel, then you may have missed some important updates, cool products, or videos that I personally just really like. So don't forget to subscribe and let's take a look at some of our favorite lifting and rigging videos of 2022. Sometimes you just need to know the basics and knowing when to use which type of shackle can be confusing. It is important to use the correct shackles when lifting a load because if you use the wrong shackle, you could cause an accident that results in a lot of damage, injury, or even death. So in our video, which shackle should you be using? We explain the differences between each type of shackle, their shapes and pin types, materials, and when to use and not use certain types of shackles. How can you diagnose a problem with your overhead crane from the ground? This really is just a cool video on a really cool product. We look at CMs and Teleconnect, a diagnostic device that you can install on your overhead crane's hoist. The device replaces the keypad on your variable frequency drive and makes the keypad accessible on your phone or tablet. Basically, it lets you see what's going on with your crane, all on your phone, allowing you to diagnose problems, reset, check the performance, and gather historical trending data, all from the ground, keeping everyone safer and making your crane much more efficient. In our ASME update series, we dove into some of the new updates to the ASME standards. We did this to give you all the information and changes they made so you don't have to read it yourself. Although as a note there, it is still a good idea to read these things thoroughly. We understand that keeping up with ASME standards can be a lot of work and really quite challenging. And it is extremely important that you keep yourself informed of any changes to the standards so you can stay compliant, avoid fines, and above all, make sure you and your coworkers or employees are safe on the job. We'll continue releasing these updates as new ASME standards are released. In our OSHA inspection series, we dove into OSHA regulations and the standards for overhead cranes, training, rigging, and fall protection. This is a great series that helps you stay compliant and familiarize yourself with OSHA regulations, and it really helps you understand the reasoning behind the regulations themselves. It also lets you know the process if you find yourself in some trouble with OSHA and how to best correct the violation. Tracy Evans took us out in the field to show us how a spooling truck works and walked us through the install process of a hoist line on a Grove RT9150 rough terrain crane. He really shows us how much easier it is to have a single technician and a spooling truck help install ropes on your crane rather than assembling a full team to do it. Also, personally, I think it's really cool to see how these things get done in the field. This year, we started Safety Factor, our new podcast. I sit down with industry professionals from different companies, focusing on different industry problems, products, developments, or advice. The idea is to get a few experts in the same room and get them talking about the things they know best. In 2023, Look forward to the podcast continuing and different collaborations from experts across the industry and the country. In 2023, you can look forward to a lot more hands-on content. We are taking the Lifting and Rigging channel on the road. 
from a trip down to Rockford, Illinois to get expert advice and demonstrations from the adept professionals at Caldwell Lifting Solutions to Texas, where we'll look at Crosby's block cams, straight point, and other rigging products. We have a lot more content coming on cranes, fall protection, inspections, training, and more that I'm really excited about. We look forward to rolling out as much information and educational content as we can in 2023. So be sure to subscribe and don't miss out. Again, thanks to you for watching. Please keep watching as the year progresses. And a very special thank you to the team behind the scenes at the Lifting and Rigging channel. Here on the channel, you see a lot of me and our experts at Mozilla, but there is a lot that goes on behind the scenes that you don't see from our spectacular team to help bring you fresh content every week. Without them, this channel wouldn't be possible. In 2023, we're looking to hear from you. If you have questions or ideas for content, we want to know, so drop them in the comments below. Your questions and comments help us drive this channel in the direction that most benefits you. We'll be back Thursday, January 5th, 2023. Stay safe and have a great holiday. My name is Ben, and I'll see you next year.